Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another apartment renovation. Today I am renovating 1310 21 Sheik Street in the Fashion District of San Myshuno. And this is going to be an apartment that is very much inspired by the new pastel pop kit, which just came out yesterday. I think this is for a teenager. This is like a teenager's like dream pastel apartment. Uh, but I think it has very strong TikTok vibes. I feel like this entire style, I think it's called Avent Basic, is is reminiscent of a lot of the fun, funky colors and patterns and shapes that I often see on my TikTok for you page and just like what people repost from that area. So I kind of feel like this could just be like a TikTok apartment too. I'm not sure what I'm naming it. Probably either TikTok or pastel teen. I'm not sure. But uh, the colors and patterns that came with this kit are so cute. And so of course I needed to build something with it. I really like how this came out. Of course we have the strawberry wallpaper, this really fun bed. I also used the shag rug up here in the loft bedroom space uh, in this pink color. And I didn't like how the front door was brown. So we kind of hid it in its own little room here with an archway leading into it and I was just really trying to use as many items as possible from the two new kits that we got and combining them with items we already had in the game but focusing mostly on the new content. I really like how this apartment comes out. It's just a one bedroom, one bathroom. And as you can see, the bedroom is open to the rest of the room. I don't think I've done this layout before with uh, the bedroom up here, but I might have. <laughs> it's just been a long time. Uh, but I really enjoyed using this new mirror we got. It looks like puddles. It's like this really fun curvy shape that uh, has like a couple layers to it. I do actually later on end up putting a dresser underneath that. So I rotate it with tool to be on its side and I think it looks so cool. Also that shelf I put in the entryway, I know it looks like your sim wouldn't be able to walk by that, but they can. I play tested it and they can walk by it just fine. Also right here, <laughs> you'll see I end up removing this window with tool. It shouldn't be a problem if you download this build, the window will just be there. But at this point in time while I was decorating, I was thinking I was gonna put the bookcase there and I didn't like the window behind it. So I did delete it, but it shouldn't be an issue if you go ahead and grab this. And if you would like to grab it, it is available right now on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EAID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So right here I'm just trying to figure out how I want to lay out the kitchen to allow more space for a living room because the way I had the counters laid out at that point I really didn't know where I was going to put a couch or anything and I wasn't sure if I was going to use the furniture pieces here that came with the pastel pop kit or not for the love seat in the chair. But I opted to in the end because they're just so cute and they fit the style, of course, perfectly. I think this is a really cohesive kit, so uh, it was fun to use those, especially because I don't know how often some of these pieces I will use. I actually really like the love seat, but the coffee table is a very unique shape that I don't think I'll be getting a lot of use out of, but... I thought it would be nice to go ahead and use it here. We also have a new trash can, which is very interesting because it has the pedal on the bottom to like open the lid, but there is no lid. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. But some of the swatches are really nice. There's some cow print ones, some cat faces. There's also a um, couple of soda cans based on the various drinks that we have in the game, which I think is really cute. I believe Jesse uh, Plumbella had asked for those. So I think that was a really cool input on the trash can. And uh, yeah, anyway, we're back up here into the bedroom space. I decided to use this uh, dresser from high school years. I think it is such a pretty color. I think this pack works beautifully with high school years. And you can see the mirror that I had rotated now. And I'm just scaling up a couple of these clutter pieces that we got with the Everyday Clutter Kit. Uh, I still can't believe we have a clutter kit. It's very exciting. I'll have another build out probably tomorrow uh, using mostly the clutter kit. Uh, both this build and that build I had done yesterday over on Twitch. I had so much fun building live with y'all. And so I'm trying to get these videos out so you can check out those builds if you couldn't make it to stream. And uh, yeah, but if you would like to make it to stream in the future, I do stream on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern time on twitch.tv slash miscraphy, and we just build mostly. <laughs> we build live and, you know, kind of work together figuring out the best design for a space, come up with concepts, and uh, 
you know, hang out the whole time. I love doing that because we get into all kinds of fun conversations. I know yesterday we were talking about like being graphic designers and uh, just a bunch of other stuff. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, I did decide to get some more mirrors over on this side of the build. I used these ones from the, I think these are from the Decor to the Max kit. And they're so pretty. I really, really like them. And they're more angular than the other pieces in this room. But I think the contrast was really nice. Plus, you know, it's a little bit of a funkier shape with all of the different uh, rectangles. I also made sure to get a couple pieces of clutter on the table there. So we have a mug and some glasses. I really love the mug decoration. It is so good. And not only are there some fun swatches on it that are like cute, but there's dirty versions. And then there's like a three pack of them. Oh, it is just such a welcome addition. I'm so glad about it. Um, but then over here, I just wanted to make sure we had a spot for a dining table. And so I put down a rug for it. We will actually get the dining table a little bit later. At first, I'm just getting a little chair up in the bedroom space. It's from high school years. I thought it matched beautifully here, the style of it, the color, the little blanket or piece of clothing. I'm not really sure what it is that's draped over the side. I just really had a lot of fun with the colors in here and chat kept calling it the Sherbet apartment because it looks like Sherbet. It really, really does. It's like those beautiful <laughs> peachy colors and we're, we were all joking about how much we wanted to eat this apartment. So let me know if you feel that way as well. Um, but anyway, in the kitchen here, starting to work on this now, I decided to put this shelving unit in the kitchen. I thought it was a bit of fun uh, to add some more of that pastel pop design into the kitchen. I love the colors of it and the very minimal clutter, but you can actually add stuff to the shelves. It's a very unique shape, but... I was actually really happy that there wasn't a lot of clutter on it. We just have like two sculptural pieces that are pretty trendy currently. So I quite liked that. I also ended up using the new like curvy candles in the kitchen, which I think are so pretty. I really like those. I've looked at those in real life as well. These are all like items that I understand and I'm drawn to. Actually, that vase on the top of that shelving unit I have here, the one that has like a hole in the middle. I have that vase in my office, so I understand. Uh, but I just decided to add some mugs, the salt lamp, and a bread box in those shelving units, and then just try to figure out what tile I wanna use in this space. And I end up drawing a wall on the edge of the kitchen to kind of make it a little bit more separate because the very clear line of the separation of the tile and the wallpaper was bothering me. I, I didn't like it, so decided to do that. And then I'm rearranging the stuff by the desk to have a wider like entrance table because it just felt a little bit empty over there and that gives us more space for clutter. Uh, but I think the only thing I added over there was that trio of succulents, which I think is really cute. It, that is from Discovering University. It has a lot of gorgeous swatches. Uh, the base swatch has like some really cute faces on it, but I used more of like a gradient one instead and then just getting a couple more decorations in here. Of course, I needed to get the cutting boards, a little plant from the uh, Blooming Rooms kit, some towels, and that's mostly it for this kitchen. I also get this little box in the corner, which came with the Everyday Clutter kit. It has like some food items in it. And so that was a nice piece to add into that space. And then I just wanted to make sure we had plenty of clutter on this desk as well. So I get a book as well as a water bottle, their phone, some pens and pencils, and I just keep moving it around until I think it looks good. Uh, I think that's pretty realistic to have that kind of stuff on your desk. That's kind of what mine looks like right now. I have a planner with my phone on top of it, a cup of pencils right in front of it. Actually on that side as well, <laughs> because I like to have everything by my right side because I'm right handed. So I guess it was vaguely based off of my own experience. But anyway, over here, I decided to get this adorable cat radio. I thought it just was perfect for the style of this apartment. Uh, that radio is from the Little Campers kit. And it, it's just kind of interesting how so many of these kits are working together, even if they're different concepts, because also that lamp is from the Decor to the Max kit as well. It's just such a big statement piece, but in some of the swatches, it can be quite neutral. I don't think I've ever used the really bright colors of it. Just the more like gold and uh, what is the other color in it? There's a couple of them, but most of them are pretty <laughs> busy. 
Anyway, uh, with that out of the way, we're heading into the bathroom. I really wanted to use this tiled table in here to add a pop of color. And of course, the little mirror on top of it from the clutter kits. Uh, we also added this mirror in here that is shaped like a cloud. It's so cute. That's in base game. But I just felt like it matched the style of this entire apartment. We got a fluffy rug. And then I should be just getting, you know, the basics you need in the bathroom a sink and a toilet. We end up getting a couple of decorations. I wanted to use that mirror in here again so badly, but it did not fit because of this room being on a platform. Uh, but this shelving unit from Tiny Living did fit. And one of my favorite things I added in here is I grabbed the mug from the clutter kit in like the cute pink swatch and put it on the sink. And then I combined it with the toothbrush holder. So it looks like you have these toothbrushes in this adorable little mug. I just, I was really proud of that. Anyway, we are just about at the end of the video now and heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I'll see y'all soon. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.